Asbestos insulation was used by numerous industries during the last century, including the construction industry. Dangerous insulation can be found in buildings built before 1980 on pipes and ducts, as well as in other places such as the attic. It is advisable that you do not remove asbestos insulation on your own, as the product is very friable and will release millions of toxic fibers in the air, making exposure inevitable. If you want to get rid of asbestos insulation, you will have to contact a team of professionals. Asbestos insulation was manufactured between 1866 and 1978. Buildings that were built before 1978 most likely contain asbestos insulation. Other places where you may find asbestos insulation are the ceiling, walls, and basements, as well as around boilers, furnaces, and electrical boxes. Because it is very friable, asbestos insulation must be always removed by a team of professionals. Otherwise, you will expose yourself to airborne fibers. Some of the most renowned companies that manufactured asbestos insulation during the last century are Johns Manville, VR Grace, National Gypsum, Cellotex, and Nicolette. There are multiple types of asbestos insulation, such as loose fill, insulation wrappings, block insulation, and spray-on insulation. While loose fill insulation was poured onto attic floors or blown into hollow spaces inside the walls and other building structures, insulation wrappings were covering ducts, pipes, and HVAC components in old buildings. Block insulation was often used to fireproof a whole wall by gluing the product to it. However, block insulation contains a large amount of asbestos and you should never attempt to remove it yourself as it will unavoidably release toxic fibers in the air. As for spray-on asbestos insulation, it was mostly employed to fireproof the ceiling, the walls, and the structural beams. Spray-on asbestos insulation contains up to 85% asbestos, which is why you must contact a specialized company to remove it for you. It is very toxic once it's released in the air. On the bright side, since 1990, spray-on insulation has been regulated and now contains only 1% asbestos, which rarely leads to the development of serious health issues if it's not disturbed.